Hello comrades of the internet, my name is Reviled2NR and welcome to your doom. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna talk like that the whole time, don't worry. Welcome back to City Skylines. It's looking beautiful. But today there's more to be done. There's always more to be done in a wonderful city like this. And what are we going to do today? Today we're going to get completely and utterly distracted. This time not by shiny things or loud noises. I'm just going to get distracted with the concept of locking up all of our wonderful citizens in a beautiful new prison that we're going to build today. Ah, it's going to be great. I hope you guys are all prepared, ready. I hope you have your notebooks out to take notes, of course. As always, there will be a test at the end of the video and a two-page report due by Monday. If you fail, <laughs> I don't know, bad things will happen. You'll have bad luck for like five days and you'll have to... I don't know. <laughs> it's too early again. I like to record city skylines early in the morning while having a wonderful cup of coffee. But look at this neighborhood. It finally grew up. Today, originally, I was gonna go and try and make that neighborhood look beautiful. But as previously stated, I get distracted by, by prisons. We do do a little bit of work, because look at this. We have a garbage problem. Indeed, there is a, a need. <laughs> English. There is a need for garbage collection. And look at this nice little place right out of the way, off of the highway, that we can put it. And for some reason, that road that I just put in, I love it. <laughs> it was like, for some reason, that was the simplest road I ever put down, and it just made the most beautiful curves. I was so proud. Because normally, I don't know, I have to put down roads like two or three times half the time, because it doesn't come out exactly the way I want. But I was just thoroughly impressed with that road. So I'd like to talk about it more for like five or so minutes. It's a road with a median in the middle, right? Oh shit, we can't see it now. Alright, we'll get back to the road. We're putting in a parking lot. Because I love parking lots, and they're everywhere. So I put, and look at this, handicapped and electric parking. We're so considerate. And we just put in a little distressing on the concrete, just to make it look more fitting. And that's all we really need. Why? Oh no. This is where I get distracted. We have a problem with crime in this city. Oh no, and we have Batman all over the place in this city, and we still have a problem with crime. But I'm guessing the pro- <laughs> The prime, the problem? I can't English, it's fine. Don't worry. What was I saying? It doesn't even matter. Look, we're getting right, in, <laughs> right into the building process by leveling out the ground. Ah, oh, I should do like vocal exercises before I start beginning, right? before I start recording these episodes. So maybe my English is a little bit more on par and I can actually make sense and you guys can understand me. All right, so for this prison, I wanted a very simple entrance and exit, right? It's not gonna have an entrance and an exit on both sides of the highway, right? Only on this one side of the highway will you be able to get in and out of the prison. And that's not just because I'm lazy as hell right now, it's also, in my mind, a security issue, right? I mean, we can pretend it is. There's only one way out, so it's harder to escape, right? Is that cool? Do you guys buy that? Maybe if I said it, like, more seriously, you guys would believe me? The, uh, the reasoning that we're only having one exit and one entrance to this prison is for security purposes. It's long known that prisoners don't know how to escape prisons if there's only one exit to a highway, they get confused. Cool, I buy it. Anyhow, Jesus Christ. This video is going downhill in my mind. But, it just improves so much with this parking lot, because I love parking lots. Ah, we're gonna have a big old parking lot right out front. Because all these prisoners are probably super popular, real fun guys that have tons of people that are going to be coming to visit them. So we just want to prepare for that, right? It's going to be like almost like a new Disney World. <laughs> almost like Wally World. We need tons of parking 
because a lot of people are going to want to come visit. And look at this. Our first customers have arrived. Ah, welcome, boys. <laughs> look at them all go. Man, there was a lot of people that fit in that van. They had to do a whole bunch of lapping action, didn't they? They had to lap it up. That's fun. Uh, and you can see they're getting right at home just sitting on benches. They got weight benches too so they can get like all their physical fitness on. That's good stuff. But we're gonna have to- oh no look it left the concrete behind. We're gonna have to move everything because I got some assets from the workshop. Look at this. It's a security checkpoint. How cool is that? They have some really good prison assets that you can get on the workshop. This, I forget who does it, but there's one guy, there, he made a whole prison pack, and that's what I got here. It has, I don't know why it has this foreign flag, right? I don't, we don't want this. I want to put my own flag down. And look, this flag actually changes nations depending on, <laughs> like it just randomly generates, but it's, it's a flag that's supposed to be on a wall, so, you know, there goes that dream of adding our own flag. And look, Batman's here. Yay. Was he dropping off a prisoner? Oh man, is the Joker here now? That would be really cool. Someone mod that in, please. Can we have the Joker wandering around our prison? That would be great. Uh, and another thing I love about this is these fences are part of this prison pack thing. And when you go over roads with the fences, it makes this nice little archway. That's so cool. I love it. It's great. But right now, we gotta fence off the prison. Because you know, security reasons, and just move entire huge boulders out of the way. I didn't want to get rid of it. I like that rock. I think it's very nice, and it's very fitting for this prison. How so? I don't know. It just looks really nice, okay? I say it's fitting, you just kind of have to believe me. It's part of the lore, right? Maybe we can name this island after the rock. Oh, man. Do you remember the movie The Rock? Which, like, Sean Connery and, and Nicolas Cage? Holy crap, I haven't seen that movie in forever. I'm gonna watch that tonight. Ah, oh, that movie was great too. Ah, I can't wait. Alright, so welcome to The Rock. <laughs> ah, wasn't that, that's a nickname for Alcatraz, right? And look at this, who the hell would park in a security checkpoint? No, we can't allow that. We just have one customer, look at this. We got an armored car, just so people know that we're serious, right? We're very, very serious about our security. We have our own armored vehicle sitting out front. Man, can you imagine what the prisoners are thinking when they come to this prison and just see like this huge armored vehicle sitting out front? Man, they just, they know we're not messing around. And I love these guard towers. Look at how cute they are. They're adorable. I mean, they're very foreboding and scary. <laughs> To the I think they're adorable. They're adorable little watchtowers. <laughs> it's fine. Ah, what else do we got going on here? Hmm? Answer me. What am I doing right now? Just kind of looking around. Yeah. Oh, the bus. Yeah, I was distracted by the bus. I thought the bus looked cool. The buses do look cool. But for right now, we're going to put some nice fancy paths connecting all these towers. Because we don't want our guards just walking through fields of grass, right? They deserve more than that. But they don't deserve like a paved path, right? That just gravel's fine, okay? They don't deserve that many nice things, just the little gravel path. And they should be happy with what they get, right? <laughs> uh, all right, and the front of the prison wasn't looking scary enough. So we put in these huge prison guard towers. They look amazing. And then I got the idea that we need even more, oops, <laughs> we need even more things for these prisoners to do. And with this prison pack, it comes with these extra buildings. And this is all crooked now. That won't do. Come on. Is that better? Yeah, that looks better. All right. So we're kind of going to segregate the parking and entrance area off with another giant fence which is wonderful. And I, look at this. I love the little archway it makes. Ah, all right. So we're going to connect it to here. And then what the hell is this? I don't know why it does. I try and put the guard tower in the middle of it thinking that would be cool, but no. I just, I don't like that at all. 
we're just going to use move it to connect it because the 90 degree angle connection just looks a lot better in my opinion right that looks better we don't need that weird triangle shit there's no need for that it's fine so we're going to do the same thing here maybe oh uh, we got to copy the guard tower and bring it over there we go another guard tower yeah all right so now we have an area where visitors and all that can come in they can park up and get into the prison cool <laughs> i don't know where i was going with that but uh yeah we're gonna put down some extra buildings look at this recreational facility these people need recreation that's fine look how cool it is they got their own b-ball courts you need that in a prison right I'm pretty sure that every prison comes complete with basketball courts just already built in. And now we have them, which adds to our realism. Love it. And they also come with fences on them, which I didn't really like, but after we connect it up, I actually kind of like it now, right? Because it makes it even more complex. And I like that. And I go to put trees in. Hell no. That's a security hazard. We can't have trees anywhere on the inside of this prison. But don't worry, I attempt to put trees in the prison again. I just, I have this, this itch <laughs> for putting down trees. Don't worry. I, I take care of that problem and this drives me nuts. Trying to paint with this. Look at this. It's so annoying. We have to cover that with something. So I just find this random concrete bit that I don't even know what it is. But look, we could just pretend they're benches or something, I don't know, it's fine. They don't look out of place there, so we're just gonna leave them just to cover that. And just add some more picnic benches, right? There you go, and look, I go to place trees again. No, stop it. Stop it past me. But look, I'll just, just so I can scratch that itch, we'll put all the trees on the outside where they belong. There you go. See, I feel better already now, right? I feel so much better about this. Ah, oh, good stuff. And just one simple bush. But no, that's not enough. He's gonna have a little bush friend and some overgrowth. I put too much time and effort into that one stupid little thing. But look, someone died already in prison, so we put in a crematorium. Which, you know, at the time I thought it was a good idea. But now I'm like very disturbed. <laughs> I'm very disturbed that we have a crematorium in our prison and I no longer kind of want it in there. <laughs> I don't like it. It's, it feels very wrong to me. I didn't really consider it when I was putting it in there. I was like, oh cool, it'll be another little like industrial building we can put in the prison, it's, you know, take care of all the dead prisoners. Because you often do see that in like really big prisons, right? They have their own like potter's field, like cemetery. No, is that just in the movies? I don't know. I watch a lot of movies. <laughs> but I just, I don't like... Uh... <laughs> I don't like the idea of having this crematorium in the prison, but we do leave it in for now, and I'm probably going to forget about it by the time I play this game again, so it's fine. We're just going to add some more buses, some more vehicles, busy it up, and what is that? Off in the distance on that beautiful island? Is it a new resort? No! It's a prison! Yay! Everyone's so happy! Uh... uh... <laughs> Prisons. I think it looks pretty cool though. And I I did want to use this island for a prison pretty much from the get-go of making this city. So we finally get to do it. And I'm happy about that. And who is this dude? There's this guy all in black just hanging out. It's creeping me out. Right? What is he doing? Is he plotting something? And who's this in a car? Is this an escape? I'm guessing not, hopefully. Do prisoners escape in this game? That would be really cool if they did every now and then. And then they had to have a manhunt, right? And they had to do like roadblocks with the police in the city. That'd be really cool. That'd be really cool. And now I try and do first person view with a bunch of the prisoners, but everybody stares at a wall in this prison. I don't know if it's part of the punishment or something, but everybody just stares at walls nonstop just all the damn time. It's kind of disturbing, but it's fine. You know, it's a prison. 
it. Look, just no. Nope. Whoa, and this guy just like, man, takes off craziness. All right, good. So that's our prison, and this is our just, uh, just dead people everywhere. I feel like every day or so, I have to just empty all the graveyards. Like, what's our population? Like, almost eighty thousand, and we just we're just full of dead people all the time. It's ridiculous. Jeez. And here I got the idea to change everything to concrete. I think it looks a lot nicer than just the gravelly bits, right? It looks more permanent and established, and I like it. And I think the prisoners like it too, right? They'd rather have nice concrete than gravel, because if you give them gravel, you're pretty much giving them weapons, right? There's just weapons lying around all over the place. So it's another security feature. And this, oh God. I got so annoyed with this. Like, what do I do? Uh, that's fine, right? And we'll just move the path there. Bam. Looks nice. Looks good to me. And I forgot to hit the record button, but look, we got another big giant cell block. Because there was a big empty area there that I needed to put something. And this prison asset collection came with this wonderful building, and I really liked it. And I, I tried to fill this all in with concrete. It didn't look good starting to get frustrated as per usual so just say you know what get out of here i'm just gonna move the path and bam i don't look too bad i like it good stuff all right and one of the final touches there's these industrial gates that are open ah so good all we're gonna do is pop these gates in and it takes me like two years <laughs> It takes me two years to put in these gates because I'm I'm so anal about it. Like I, it has to be perfect. It has to line up just right. Ah, uh, man, this game for people with like OCD. Holy crap! It's like Minecraft all over again. I really think Minecraft gave me OCD to begin. With. I'm I'm kidding. I'm pretty sure it didn't give me my OCD. I'm pretty sure it just magnified it to a level at which I'll never recover. But it's fine. So we take two years to line up some gates, but worth it. Look at that. And <laughs> finish gating off this entire thing. And it looks really nice. I really like it. It came out good. We have to turn around the one fence though, because the pointy bits should be facing the inside on the prison, right? Because you don't want people getting out. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. But here we have it. Dick's prison. <laughs> In the city of Richard, we've got a prison for all the naughty people. It's good. And it's, oh, that crematorium. I still don't like it. It's just not the best. But it, it looks really, really, really nice. I'm happy with the way it came out. And it has a beautiful view. So all the prisoners can just be really, really upset when they look outside to this beautiful city that they can no longer be a part of because they were bad, bad peoples. Good. Good for them. Ah, oh, it does look really nice though, doesn't it? Uh, I, I can fly around in this city just non-stop. I'm loving the way it's coming out. It's really coming together. Piece by piece, bit by bit. So nice. But that is where I'm going to have to end this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did enjoy watching, hit that like button subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos and I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> Bye!